Uh, through you, Acting Mayor, my next question is about roadkill. It's very distressing to see so many of our native creatures hit by cars, many with joeys in the pouch. One such roadkill hotspot is along Leslie Vale Road. Will the council install more road safety signage and slow down for wildlife signs on Leslie Vale Road? Mr Reeve. Uh, through your acting mayor, um, council does have a set of guidelines for when we may or may not put in such signage. Um, we can assess that location against that set of guidelines there to see whether or not it actually suits to put any in that location. Thank you. And just further to that point, through your acting mayor, can council invest in acoustic barriers at well-known hotspots? Acoustic barriers for wildlife? Yeah, that's right. Mr Reeve. Uh, through you, Acting Mayor, um, certainly that sort of technology is a relatively expensive type technology um, and once again it would be based on whether or not um, the location actually warranted any type of measures through the, the various different guidelines uh, that we've actually put in place there. Um, so it would need to be a particular area where particular type of um, animal which may have been endangered or, or in that type of list there that might actually be at risk there um, for us to consider that type of option. Thank you. And just on that uh, through your acting mayor, can council start to publish a list of roads where we have plans to install wildlife, slow down for wildlife signs? Um, and that way, the idea is that residents might be able to look and see if their road is on the list to receive a slowdown for wildlife sign in the future, and that might prevent some of the um, back and forth with residents who are, who are asking for those kinds of signs. Mr Reeve. Through your acting mayor, there is none that are currently on the list, um, but if there was any that were to be on the list there, we could certainly publicise that. Thank you so much. Just a couple more questions through you.